<laughs> I love that music. It's so dopey. Ezra, beware of hitting your family and friends and their heirlooms. <laughs> We're supposed to be wearing a strap. Uh, it's fine. I don't think I'm going to be that wacky and wavy with my arms. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> funny if you were now. <laughs> It'd be terrible. Because <laughs> yeah, be. I don't want to hurt anything. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Time to play a fun little game. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he, there you go. <laughs> Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Welcome! <laughs> Let's see how well this goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. I always loved Natsumi games. They were the ones that made the Harvest Moon games. Yeah. Sadly, though, they've been disbanded. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Eh, it happens, I guess. You know, companies fall apart or something. So, yeah, just check out the magical realm. <laughs> oh, there's the harvest goddess. Yeah. <laughs> Little fairies, actually. You gotta get all the bells. Yep. This is quite the cutscene for it. I don't remember this. Yeah. This Yeah. Yeah. Granted, of course, back then there was that one studly red-headed guy that everyone wants. <laughs> when they're playing a female character. <laughs> he's, he's the Harvest King. <laughs> or the Fairy King, I forgot which one. <laughs> and then of course there's the Harvest Goddess. Not her, <laughs> the other one. The other one where they only just saw off to the boob. <laughs> So nice. Yeah. Of course, you could ride all your animals. That was the fun little thing with this because you were able to, like, uh, jump on top of your uh, animals and actually ride them around. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a brand new game. Am I a boy or am I a girl? I... or a girl or a boy. <laughs> that, that's kind of weird. They like, they double tap into it. That's... that's weird. Yeah. Oh well. I am a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, was I able to select my clothes too and I didn't know? Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> Little fairy. Hey, don't forget that we have to go see the harvest goddess. No, oh, hey Finn. <laughs> I have a feeling she needs our help. And you're the only one who can see me. Oh hey, er what was your name again? My name? Kevin Close. It's Ken. Uh, hmm. That's a weird way to do the spelling on this. Like, like they do capital up here, then lowercase, then capital, lowercase, capital, lowercase. There you go. It's Ken. There you go. Choose his name? Yep. Ah, that's right. Ken. <laughs> I'm Kane, the owner of the Horn Ranch. Nice to meet you. It's only a little longer to your house. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions about yourself until we get there? Not at all. It's just that it's so unusual for young people to want to start a ranch these days. I know, especially when everyone trying to tax you. <laughs> Well, let me start with this. What's your favorite food? Uh, I'll go with any kind of fish. I see. And when's your birthday? My birthday is in the summer. It is late summer. Gotcha. Anyway, like I was saying, there are a lot of ranchers now. I hope that you'll be able to reinvigorate the town. It is a beautiful landscape. Oh, this place has seen better days. We haven't had any good crops in a while. No one seems to know why. Hey Ken, I know you're excited about finally getting your ranch. Remember that we have to go see the Harvest Goddess as soon as we get there, though. Jeez, really reminded me. <laughs> Are you even listening to me? Nope. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if actually I would need the Wii mode or if I could just um, use like the GameCube controller instead. I'm wondering. There you go. A little greeting here and there, and a fond farewell, and off we go to my... Oh no, <laughs> it's a dilapidated abode. I mean, I'm, I have holes in the roof. Yeah. The three dots, I agree with you. Uh, this ranch is pretty beat up. He doesn't lie. Hello, hello. Hello, you must be Ken. Welcome to Harmonica Town. I'm Mayor Hamilton. Why don't I explain the basics about your ranch? It may look a little, uh, it may look a bit rusty, but with just a little care, it'll look fabulous in no time. A little care. Yeah. Behind you is your plot. Wow, this is great, Ken. You get a house and land for free. What a town! Oh, I nearly forgot. You can make the 5,000 G payment for your new land at Town Hall. It ain't free! Yeah. <laughs> There's no due date. You can pay it at any time. Well, I guess it was too good to be true. Oh, I have this for you. It's a map of the surrounding lands. I'm sure it'll be helpful to get your si uh, get you situated. There you go. A little present. Got map. 
press the plus button to use it. And I have this for you too. You'll need this to start a ranch. Is it a hoe? <laughs> Got farmers and farming starter set. Now you can start farming. Yay! You'll find flute fields over there. There's a farm and a ranch, so they can help you as well if you uh, have any questions. Also, opposite flute fields is Harmonica Town. Head this way to get to the Garmon Mines. Oh, a little fishing pond. I've also left you some helpful books in your bookshelf. If you're not sure about something, take a look. It's likely in a book. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> well, I'll be heading back to town all. Once you're ready, stop by the town. Well, let's start by naming the ranch again. Memory farm? No. What would be a good farm name? Heather Ranch. What? Heather Ranch? Heather Ranch? Yeah. Okay. Just how you would spell Heather, the name Heather for a woman as well? Okay. Okay. Heather? Okay. Choose his name? Yeah! Heather Ranch. That's a great name. <laughs> we can find the Harvest Goddess in the Garmon Mind area. Jeez, it's like he never forgot that quest. The path to the Northwest should lead us there. Let's hurry up and see the Harvest Goddess. Fine. He's so impatient, Finn. You really good. And it's kind of difficult, especially with how slow the game goes. <laughs> hey, Ken, you're not listening again. Well, I just got here. I want to see the place. It looks nice in here, even though there's a big hole in the roof. I know. <laughs> That's the bookshelf Mary Hamilton was talking about. You should take a look. You can save your game at the bedside table. Save your game often. If you have any questions, press the 1 to talk to me. There you go. Basic controls was added to your help menu. Title was added. Ring menu. O was added. Water can was added. Seeds were added. There you go. And now I can finally get to go in it. I got a thousand G already, so that's good. Let's see, I got a whole watering can and turnip seeds. Okay. Alright, the diary. Second we. Yep, ah, these were my old ones. Yeah, way back when. Very well then. Right here. Save right there. Yeah. What's in here? Um, hats. I got the brown jacket. Although, I like that. Accessories, none. <laughs> Bookcase. Building basics, farming for beginners. Eh, I think I'm good. Let's go out there. <laughs> there you go. Heather Farm. 
Off we go to my plot of land. There's some crops already here, and then there's also trees. We already got decent turnips. Oh yeah, I forgot that they had like that status going on and where it was like decent, um, okay, and like great, that kind of stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. That's how you do it. There you go. Sweet! Then, of course, yeah. Make it a little easier on you by doing this. Definitely water your plants. Yeah. Now that we finally actually can get into the game and actually play it now, you know, we can actually do some stuff. Although, I kind of I kind of like seeing like the cutscenes, you know. It's always cool to go back to like older games and see how they do compared to like newer games. A lot of the newer games it's like, "Okay, let's jump straight into it. We got to play the game immediately." You know, here ones it's just like, "Okay, here check out like a cool cutscene and stuff." And it is pretty cool. Although, when you play like older games right here, you realize how like laid back they are in where they're like not trying to like force things super quickly. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. In fact, I could use that as my own personal timer as well for this. Granted, of course, it kind of stinks that there's not that much I can actually do. I mean, yeah, <laughs> a long thing with all the cutscenes and sort, you know, just like, uh, like, hey, here you go, you gotta go ahead and, like, get all the basics and stuff, but there's a lot of the stuff I already know, too, like, here we have, like, the turnips, and we just send them in the box, <laughs> that kind of stuff, because this is supposed to be the box that you go to to, like, ship all your stuff. Oh, it only does it one at a time? There you go. That I had no idea on. But yeah, the one thing I remember though from the last time I played this though is the crops that you get right here, like either these potato seeds or whatever these are, like uh, bell peppers or something like that, I remember I got to save them, especially if I wanted to like save one of the animals. Oh. Yeah, I remember that a long time ago when I, when I played this. Oh, I don't remember why. Oh, you need it because you're supposed to make like a pizza out of it. And you're supposed to give it to a lion to feed it or something. Yeah. So that way then the guy who has the um, circus can get his animal back because it's hungry and scared. Yeah. I remember like the, the, the dorky stuff like that too. Also too, I gotta be like super quick and earn like a lot of cash real fast. <laughs> because um, also too, there is this, uh, there's this competition that you're supposed to go to. And I remember that as well because I the fir first animal that I got was like a sheep because I always loved the sheep in the game. And I wanted to get a sheep because there's like a race that's going to be happening very soon too. And I was supposed to take the sheep with it, take care of it, love it, pet it, you know, just like sort of raise it as quickly and as best as I can right now because when you do that, <laughs> you can take it to the race and if you go through the race and you win the race, you get this tiny little crown. And your animal just has it on top of yeah, their head. I remember that. And I remember doing that, and Jenny was like super pissed off because she's like, I want a friggin' crown on my animal too. But yeah, that's the one thing I remember. There you go. There you go. Alright. I think that's. Yeah, I only have six turnip seeds, so... There you go. And... Oh. Did I already go through all six of them? Yeah, I did. Whoops. <laughs> eh, it's fine. 
Ooh. Yeah. This was like the easy way to like water it too. Just like the watering can like this. Yeah, I still remember all like the old little tricks I already remembered and picked up. Yeah. So, there you go. Plants are all watered. Everything's good. I think now is a good time to also end it right here. Although it was mainly just checking out a lot of cutscenes. Which is, you know, kind of a shame, but it is what it is. Can I, like... There we go. Okay, I'm remembering it now, like, bees to put it back away. Starter plot at the farm. Cool. Yeah, I'm also gonna need an axe to go chop down those trees. But, yeah. Yeah. I gotta just start remembering, like, which one's which on all this kind of stuff, too, so that way then I'm not pressing, like, weird buttons or whatever. And hot springs limit once per day. Oh yeah, I remember they also have the hot springs. There you go. The water is too cold. I shouldn't get in. The water's too cold for a hot spring? Fine then. I guess. Oh no, I remember now. There's things that are wrong in the in the place, you know. And once I start getting a lot of like the animals, or I start getting a lot of those fairies, like things get better. And I think one of them is like a fairy that allows me to finally use the hot springs. I forgot about that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have fun with this, but I'm gonna end it now too, so. Hey, thank you for anyone watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this. You know, have a good one, and see you later.